Oh my god, that's a lot of footsteps in tech. Oh my god, no way. Did I just... Oh my god, I did. That's insane. What? Welcome back, everyone. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how we're going to get your survival rate up. I've got five tips for you here that are aimed at people who've been playing Tarko for a couple of wipes now, but want to start up in the game. So let's not waste any more time and then get into the tips. I hope you enjoy them. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is keeping an eye on your PMC and how heavy he is. Specifically on how weight affects your movement and ability to fight. There's been way too many times where I've been PvPing with somebody only for me to kill them, search their backpack and they've got three guns in there, some PMC's armor and a car battery for example. The new changes to the weight system and inertia make being overweight extremely punishing. So I know that you've just killed two PMC's and you want to take absolutely every single ounce of loot from them, but just be aware of your weight and then try and make a plan for once you've looted them, how you're going to get out and can you do it safely. And if your answer to those are no, then maybe it's worth leaving some stuff behind so that your walk from where you are now to the extract is a lot more safe. Especially since non-founding raid stuff doesn't really go for that much anyway. So if you've got a lot of PMC stuff, consider stripping a gun or dumping some armor, unloading their magazines or doing some insurance fraud just to get yourself a bit lighter. And if you do on your way to extract hear anybody or get into a fight, do not forget to dump your bag. I've seen so many people forget to do this. And when you're heavy and overweight, it is really easy to land shots on you. You move a lot slower than what you think. So to sum that tip up, if you get into a PvP fight and your weight is even slightly in the yellow, always dump your bag for it. And when you're looting, just consider your raid plan and how long you're going to stay in that raid and if being that heavy is worth it or potentially going to get you killed. So the second thing I want to talk about is using stims and how they can increase your survivability. I've made a whole video on this, which I'll put a link to in the description. I highly recommend you watch that. I go into a lot of detail on what stims are worth using and which ones can save you more than the others. But I'll just go a bit briefly in this tip here. Having a stims case with the right stims in there is probably hands down the most important thing you can do in Tarkov to help you survive more. You've got Propital to act as a quick painkiller and a passive healer. You've got an EGT green stim to give you Wolverine-like healing powers. And we've got mules to allow you to carry absurd amounts of heavy loots with you without being overweight. And the list goes on. Most of these stims can turn the tide of a fight when you're really on the back foot. Stims have a quick animation time, so you don't need to worry about somebody pushing you while you're healing with a salawa or popping painkillers because they literally take about half a second to pop. And then all their benefits act passively. So they are extremely good and important for keeping your PMC functioning. So if you haven't already, get yourself a stims case and then go watch my past video on what stims you should use and then pack your case full of those stims. You'll thank yourself later. So the third thing I want to talk about is how you play and why you shouldn't be playing passively. And I'm going to show you a couple of clips to highlight why I'm saying this. So as you saw in those clips, almost everyone had a drop on me, but yet they weren't able to kill me. And that's mostly down to how the Tarkov servers are right now. Currently, there is so much desync and a heavy, heavy peak of advantage in the game that it really favours the more aggressive player. I'm sure I don't need to tell you about how many times somebody can just run around the corner and on their screen, it can look like a completely normal kill. Where on your screen, it looks like they almost teleported around that corner and killed you before you even saw them. I think a lot of newer players in Tarkov or people who've taken a break from Tarkov and are coming back are a bit scared to make too much noise because they're afraid that making noise gets you killed. When that's simply not the case, just because somebody has heard you doesn't mean they automatically get a free kill on you. I've mentioned it on the past videos as well, where if you hear somebody and you stop and stand still, there is a 90% chance you're not originally in a good place to take a fight. So it's better to move and be heard and be in a position ready to take that player on rather than be standing in the middle of a corridor thinking that they won't kill you because they haven't heard you yet and then instant getting a headshot on you because of desync. So don't be afraid to make some noise and defend your corner. You'll probably surprise yourself after a while of getting some experience in fighting that way. I know my first couple of wipes were playing Tarkov, I was a bit scared to move as well. And I know from a personal experience that when I was standing still, my nerves were also building up as well. So when that person finally came around the corner, I was a bit jumpy with my aim, 
So moving around a bit and trying to find different angles to kill that guy can help keep your head in the game, which will help with everything else down to aiming and movement. Okay, so the fourth thing I wanna talk about is to only take fights in your favor. Now I got a clip from Landmark that's a bit of an old clip, but it was my kind of like eureka moment of, oh, this is how I should play. I'm gonna show you to that now and then we're gonna break down what I mean by it. Can I go prone, please? I didn't hear shit, I'd imagine he's like really far away shooting at me. I'm sad I missed that guy's head when I shot it. Merry Christmas. Why is everyone where I'm trying to fucking get in the mall? I oh, I tapped him. Damn, son. Get fucked. So that clip was taken from the last Christmas wipe. And as you can see, Landmark got into a fight originally. He got shot from somewhere he didn't know. Therefore, he's at a disadvantage now because he's got two PMC groups to fight. So he falls back outside because that's not a favorable fight for him to take. And then he finds a new way into the mall and then gets shot from a guy who has a high ground on him. So that's again, not a favorable fight to take. So he then runs back out to try and find another way into the mall and then bumps into a two man. And this is a fight he can't really run for, but it is more even because they're both on even ground. They both just run into each other and seen each other at the same time. So he decides to take that more favorable fight and he comes out winning with two kills rather than getting sandwiched by two different players, which he would have done if he stayed in his original fight so that just goes to highlight that even the best players know when to pick fights and when not to so if you end up in a situation where somebody's got a massive advantage on you don't be afraid to run away and relocate and try and take them on from a different angle or just get yourself out of there completely in general okay so the fifth and final thing i want to talk about is don't be afraid to invest in your pmc survivability i know a lot of people in tarkov both new players and older players are generally afraid to bring expensive gear into a raid on fear of losing it gear fear essentially I think most people need to stop looking at money in Tarkov as money as itself and more of a resource to help you survive more. Because at the end of the day, Tarkov isn't a money simulator, it's a survival RPG. So you should use that money that you've earned in those raids to help you survive more, therefore earning more money. And if you lose it, so what? You can get money back really easily on this game. On my past video where I made a budget gun, I mentioned that the gun itself was 50k, but the build I was using was 150k. And I noticed that there were a lot of comments saying 150k wasn't budget, but in my opinion, it absolutely is because most of the meta guns I use are upwards of 280 to maybe 600k. In a lot of people's mind, a budget gun could simply be a Mosin, but even Mosins are about... 50 60k so and nine times out of ten if you're going to get into a fight with somebody for with an m4 for example you're going to die and lose that mosin so at the end of the day what would you rather would you rather lose a 70k mosin and then return to the lobby to only buy another 70k mosin or would you rather buy a 150k scar right off the bat and have a much much higher chance of surviving that raid and winning that pvp fight that's just how I look at it in Tarkov. I think if you stop looking at money in Tarkov as money and more of a resource to survive like I do, you'll have a lot more fun time in Tarkov with a better gear. And that's pretty much it for all the tips. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you use some of these tips and I want you to let me know down in the comments if there was anything new that surprised you or if you use any of them and they help you survive rate. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.